Welcome back to Cypher, and it appears we're in... Well, I, I don't like the name Vileville, so Spooky Town. Whoa. What in the ever-living... That was all... What? That was... That was a little unnerving, I'll admit. Everything about this is unnerving. I don't like this. I want to get off Mr. Bone's wild ride. I probably need to put a plant in there. Where do I even start? It's so... Every fiber of my being. I immediately jump to, like, the Bates Motel. We're not, go we're not visiting the motel. We'll skip the motel today, thank you. What? Ooh, I don't think I care for that very much. Is there things in the cemetery? Yeah, there's certainly something in the cemetery. Soul sand. Um, probably get a tool to open that up. That's... I don't like this. There's the portal up there! This is just... Look at that thing. Uh, sure, let's grab a screenshot of that. That can be the thumbnail. Okay, I guess I gotta go into the motel. Did that picture move? Whatever. Welcome to my motel. Which room would you like to buy? You should really buy one. I don't... I don't have any money, good sir. Then get out. Okay. Huh. A little map. So do I need to, like, go... grave robbing or something to get money? I... Mm. Don't know how to get this puzzle started. Oh, nothing behind the paintings. Mm, where do I go? Where do I get started? That's the Bates Motel. Oh, that's going to be like a parkour thing I'm probably going to have to do. Actually, this staircase looks suspicious going into the side of the motel here. Quest ID log. Easton. Lunar. These are people I think I've met. Oh, you're new. I'm the chef here at the motel. I'm not new. I broke in. But pleasure to meet you. That imbecile better get the population report to me? Wait a second. All these flower pots don't have stuff in them. Hold on a second. Thank you. I wonder. Can I... I thought I saw a flower pot earlier. Yeah, over here that didn't have anything in it. I wonder if I put this mushroom in this flower pot... But I'm gonna hold on to the mushroom, because he's they've used the flower pot thing before. Alright. Fish, aquarium. Let me just sneak back here real quick. Can't walk through that. Nothing in the furnace. Nothing in the cabinets. 
Ha-ha! Arrows pointing to a block. I don't normally take commands from a positions of authority. Uh... The most out generic, out-of-place game show you've ever seen. Well, this is very weird. Which painting was obtainable in the Chapter 2 Temple? Uh... Oh, I got that one right. Uh, which color created the opening at the mountain? That was fire. Wheat or blank was the crop from the prologue farm. I think it was wheat. Which one of these flowers was not in the Chapter 1 movie? I got night vision. That's pretty cool. I wonder how that helps me. You have anything I can... A recipe book. Blood red soup. Fermented spider eye. Red tulip. Root. Oh, I didn't mean to sleep. How do I get this map started? I've got all kinds of things, but not really a... I have a recipe book and I have a quest log. Hmm. What haven't I investigated? Oh, I haven't investigated this little place yet. This guy's in his office, so he's probably important. I'm supposed to... Uh, hey, am I supposed to do something for you? Well, Storm says she needed a population report. Uh, she's always nagging me for sleeping all day. Anyways, tell her I might have it filed it, but I don't feel like trying to find it. Am I just a glorified errand boy? Oh. Ah, nothing in the coffin. The population report concerns me. Are they... Sup? <laughs> Greetings, welcome to the Vileville Mortuary. I hope you enjoy your visit. Excuse me while I go freshen up. Yes, go do your thing. <sighs> well, my only lead right now is to go talk to Storm again. S yeah. Hmm. I... Ooh, I haven't got on the back side of this yet. Anything? Nope, nothing that concerns me. I like having the night vision. This is nice. Uh, it seems like the dude hasn't done any work on the report. Uh, ever since that stupid mushroom in his office died, I'm so angry I could kill someone. I don't recommend that. Unless it's him. Wait, since that... The mushroom did come in handy. I'm probably going to be placing something in that picture frame. I knew I picked up the mushroom for a reason. I'm so happy. You see, that's what we call setup and payoff. I shouldn't be this... I shouldn't be this happy. Boom! Population report and money. <gasps> I needed both of these things. Oh, nothing there. You know, each one of these, each one of these uh, levels, it kind of reminds you of like an escape room, like a, a self-contained room that you adventure in. Do your thing. So, yo, I got money. I interest you in money, perhaps? No? That's a shame. Population report. There is eight. Huh? 
Finally, thank you. Here, you can have it back. There's seven... Wait a second. There was eight. Now it's seven. Why? Why is it seven? I need a form of ID. Perfect, here's your room key. I'm in room 225. Wait a second. Population report seven. She killed the guy, didn't she? Oh, she killed that poor guy. Holy crap. Wow. That's... Wow. This got dark real fa- We are in a town called Vitalville. Let's just get the... That bookshelf was there earlier. 224, room 226. The, the plant reads, if lost, please return me to Verdant? The hell's Verdant? Mented spider eye. Oh, we're gonna make the Recipe, I need a red tulip, and I need to find this guy, Verdant. Let me know if you want me to cook for you. I will, as soon as I have all the ingredients. No sense in going in half with two-thirds of the ingredients. Is this the guy? Yeah, this is Verdant. I was right about the pot, wrong about what I was going to put in it. Hey, yo, what's up? Have something for me? Well, I haven't had a visitor in ages. Why not? Uh, it's nice to get my own place and all my plants. I wish as Antmid, but I can't stand him. It must be the last guy over there. I plucked the red tulip. We're gonna go make soup, but I don't know how soup is gonna help us. That wall's busted out. Is that how we get to... Wait, who's in the end room? The balcony's locked. Uh, here. Do I throw that to you? Throw that and that? Perfect, it just should be ready in a minute. Looks like we're missing one ingredient. Just... The guy was the last ingredient. Holy crap, this is... This is so dark. Holy crap. I don't know what to do with the soup. Should I go talk to this guy? Holy crap. Oh my gosh, these people are psychotic. I can't believe this map. Like, this is just nuts. What do I do with blood red soup? Oh, uh, the, the soul sand. Wait a second, there was one. It was just that one soul sand, so... And three people have died. Oh, shh. Do I have to kill everybody in this town to... Because that one guy at the beginning, he disappeared, so he dug a grave. That woman, through that person, killed that guy. And then the chef sacrificed himself to make this delicious blood red soup. How many people do I have to kill? Well, I'm not really killing them, but they're kind of killing themselves. And now I have this blood red soup, and I don't know what to do with it. And that bookcase is back. What do I do with blood red soup? Uh. 
Okay, so now I need to find somebody to use the blood red soup. But who likes blood red soup? Do I need to parkour on top of something? I don't think I can parkour on top of that. I don't think there's... I certainly can't jump up high enough to take advantage of that. I can't drink the blood red soup. Uh, who do I need to speak to next? What about the freshen up guy? He seemed pretty sane. I could really go for some blood bread soup, but it's been a busy day. If you fetch me and I'll let you in a few secrets from around here. Thanks so much. All right, listen up. The town is messed up. Clearly, they're killing themselves. You might be able to figure out something from the books at Antman's house, but be sneaky. He's very proud of his mansion. He doesn't take lightly to trespassers. Talk to Verdant. I'm sure he's got a way for you to get inside. All right, which one was Verdant? This is just so grim. Oh, that's the plant guy. Maybe he'll do something with the pumpkins since he's a plant guy, you know? He's the weed man. You know of a way I can get into Antmid's house? Yes, actually, I've been working on a species of vine that can grow on a specific red block. It's just a prototype, but it's worth a shot. Okay, I know what to do, because there was that one block on his... Okay, that's pretty cool. Nether warp block. All right, that's pretty simple. And we're in. You have four tasks to complete. The more red your bar is, the closer you are to Antmin, the more likely you are to get caught. Oh, shit! Screw you, Antmid! Scared the shit out of me! Damn, man! What am I trying to do here? Whatever, at least he's now out of the way of the house here. Placed on stained terracotta? Read dusty books. Well, that was an easy task. Task two, observe the banner, click the sign. Yes, very lovely. Quite lovely, yes, I have observed these banners. Ooh, very lovely, very lovely. Great. Hmm. Sting terracotta. Oh, that was lame. What's next? What's next? Place stone pressure plate on stained terracotta. Stained terracotta. I don't see any stained terracotta around here. Oh, here we go. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Bro's just like right there. What's the last task? Oh, well, I guess the last task is still downstairs? Hmm. Oh, good there. Good there. 
Good there. Nope, that's fine. Oh, task four, duh. Eight, seven, six, nine, four, three, two, one. I'm an idiot. How did I miss that? Oh no, the piano stopped. I need to hide before he comes down here. I know where to go. Why is there two of him? Why is there now none of him? I guess I better report back to Storm, who's also probably dead. Somebody's murdering these poor guys. Oh, hang on. I saw something up here. Oh. I found a little thing. Go me! So, let's go talk to Storm now. So I assume there's now four bodies buried in the graveyard. Yeah, there's four bodies buried in the graveyard. Uh, which of these happy uh, storm was... Wait, who am I talking to? Never go back to storm. I think she's also dead. Nope, she's still up there. Uh, Mr. Averance, thank you, sir, for your hospitality. You tell Storm of the... Uh, what info? Hmm, the clock from my wall belongs somewhere around here. Try it? I'm guessing... Oh. Wait, it all makes sense now. Everything adds up. I know who's been causing all this. And his or her name is... Yeah, that figures. So this is now a murder mystery. Fantastic. There we go. That's better. Run. <sighs> I'm going to get the shit jump scared out of me. I just know it. Well, now that I'm up here... Ah, a door. Is that the door that I want to go to? Let's just make sure there's nothing else I can jump off to. Yep, that's where I want to go. Ow. It seems to contain the code for the graveyard. Okay. I think that guy's disappeared now, too. Population report, question mark. Oh. Uh, graveyard's now open. Oh, God, I heard children laughing. Sorry, let me just... Bye. Oh, the tree. Absolutely brilliant. God darn it, that was... terrifying. To say the least. Stupid jump scare. Oh, thank God, get me the hell out of here. That was a cool chapter. I wasn't expecting there to be like a horror puzzle. Chapter five, a diamond in the rough. Well, I think this is good as any place to stop. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode of Cypher. Mm -hmm.